Hi friends, so in today's video I'm going to talk about sunscreen. I'll talk about chemical versus mineral sunscreen, some of the pros and cons. I'll also talk about um, sunscreen application and how to make sure you get the most benefit out of uh, your sunscreen. And I'll also talk about some of the sunscreens I've worn um, that I really enjoy. So if you want to see all of that, keep watching. So what is mineral sunscreen? So mineral sunscreen has two active ingredients. That's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And these create a barrier that sits on top of your skin that physically prevents UV rays from penetrating your skin. Chemical sunscreen, on the other hand, absorbs the rays into the skin and the chemicals in the sunscreen cause a chemical reaction that then takes those UV rays and turn them into heat. And then that heat gets released through the skin. Some of the pros when it comes to chemical sunscreen are that it's usually very nice in texture. It usually has a creamy texture or it just feels really nice to the touch. Um, it's quick and easy to apply and it doesn't leave a white film on our skin. Some of the cons when it comes to chemical sunscreen are um, that it may cause some skin sensitivities and skin reactions to people with sensitive skin, rosacea or melasma. And it also takes 20 to 30 minutes to absorb fully into the skin and provide you with that protection. So you can't just apply chemical sunscreen on and just go straight outside. You have to wait a little bit, about 20 to 30 minutes before it actually kicks in and provides you with that protection. When it comes to mineral sunscreen, some of the pros are that it's safe for children and people with sensitive skin, people with rosacea and melasma. Um, it also offers immediate protection. So right after you apply it, your skin is protected right away. Um, and also it's safer for the environment. Some of the cons when it comes to mineral sunscreen are that it tends to be thick um, and harder to apply and just sits on top of the skin. It can cause breakouts in people that are acne prone and it can leave a white film on the skin and that's due to the two active ingredients and that's the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So let's take a little detour and talk about UV radiation which, then, which stands for ultraviolet radiation. And this is radiation that is produced by the sun and also tanning beds for you tanning bed enthusiasts, which I used to be one, I used to love the tanning bed. Um, there are three types of UV radiation. That's UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVA rays penetrate deeper into our skin and it's what causes our skin to tan. Um, and it also contributes to our skin prematurely aging. So the wrinkles and all of that from sun exposure. These are the rays that cause that. Um, and it does also cause some of the skin cancers. Little note, um, UVA rays can penetrate through glass. So if you're sitting um, in front of a window all day at work, for example, um, and you have direct light hitting your skin, you need to wear sunscreen because UVA rays can, like I mentioned, penetrate through glass. So that means you're not really safe even indoors in front of a window. So make sure that you apply sunscreen even if you're inside and you reapply, that is key. You have to reapply throughout the day. I digress. Back to the regular scheduled programming. UVB rays, on the other hand, penetrate the top layer of our skin. Uh, they contribute to our skin um, burning or blistering if there's overexposure. And they're also thought to cause most of the skin cancers. And UVC rays don't really reach the earth, so they don't really reach us and we don't really need to talk about them any more than that now. So now for my preferences when it comes to sunscreen, how I wear it, how I apply it, and just my overall thoughts on sunscreen. So I tend to prefer a mineral sunscreen for every day, but if I have an event like a daytime, an event in the daytime, and I'm going to be wearing makeup, I like to use a chemical sunscreen. Um, I just want to make sure that there's no white cast, like no white film left behind that you would get with the mineral sunscreen. So I tend to prefer a chemical sunscreen when I have an event to go to during the day. And my preference for sunscreen at a minimum is a 30 SPF. Like I will not wear less than 30 SPF. So it needs to be a minimum of 30 in order for me to feel like I have good protection. So when it comes to applying sunscreen for me, um, I make sure that that is the last step in my skincare routine. So I'll apply my serums and I'll apply my moisturizer and then I'll put on my sunscreen as the last step. And I usually give it about 10 minutes before I apply makeup on top of it if I'm wearing makeup that day. Now, when it comes to the amount of sunscreen that I wear, I will show you. I like to wear about the length of my two fingers. So 
I will put a nice generous amount on both of my fingers. So about that much. So I will use this for my entire face and my neck and also my ears because the skin on my ears is, or on our ears is, is sensitive, is thin. So I just want to make sure that I protect it, even though, you know, my hair is covering my ears most of the time, just to have that protection and make sure that, you know, I'm all covered. I will use this entire amount for my face and even over my eyes, my ears and my neck. So when it comes to reapplication, um, if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I will um, just reapply whatever cream um, sunscreen I used. And I usually apply, reapply every couple of hours. Um, but if I am wearing makeup, then I will use, or I prefer to use a powder um, sunscreen. And the way I would use this is I will blot off any excess um, oil that I might have on my skin. And then I would use this mineral sunscreen, which I got at Costco, by the way, love it. So I would use this mineral sunscreen and apply it very generously all over my face neck and ears um, to make sure I'm all covered and again very generously um, and then like I said I apply this every couple of hours and I like this applying a powder on top when I'm wearing makeup because it just leaves my skin looking a bit more refreshed um, because of the powder and it kind of like I've just you know refreshed my makeup and touched it up so I really do like these um, powder mineral powder sunscreens. Another thing I want to touch on was um, foundation with SPF. So I feel like these give us a false sense of security. And here's why. When we're applying sunscreen to our face, we're supposed to, uh, to apply a generous amount. So like I showed you was the, the, the length of my two fingers or uh, a teaspoon amount for your entire face and neck and ears. And when I'm using a foundation, I will not be applying that much foundation to my skin. So that means I won't be getting the protection that I'm supposed to be getting from the SPF in that foundation because I'm not applying enough. So another thing to mention is sunscreen is only as effective as how much you apply and how often you reapply. So with those foundations that have SPF, we're not applying enough to get the protection that we're supposed to be getting. So when I have foundation with SPF, for me, I just consider that a foundation because I will still apply my sunscreen before that foundation. So for me, I don't even look at those as getting an extra layer of protection. I just look at them as a foundation that does have a bonus of an SPF, but I'm using it more as a foundation. So I will never use a an SPF foundation instead of a sunscreen. I will use it in addition to a sunscreen. So I will always put on a sunscreen prior to my SPF foundation. So now I'll just go through a few of the sunscreens that I currently have that I'm using that I really like, um, and I'll link them in the description below. And I'll also link some other sunscreens that I've tried and I've really enjoyed. So the first one I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is this uh, 30 SPF Kula Mineral Sunscreen. So this is a mineral BB cream, it's tinted um, and it's unscented it doesn't really provide much coverage or any coverage actually. So I don't really use it as a BB cream, but I find that this is great for the summer. I love it, love it, love it as a summer uh, sunscreen because it gives your skin a nice like matte finish. So it really um, helps with makeup application and makeup longevity and wearability throughout the summer for me, I find. So I really enjoy this as a summer um, sunscreen. Um, one thing I would say is it does separate. So make sure that you give it a nice aggressive shake before every use, because otherwise when you open it, the liquid will separate and it will like pour out of it. So it's just not a cute, a cute scene. So I would definitely say, make sure you shake it, but love this as a summer moist, uh, as a summer sunscreen. Um, and I got this at Sephora and it retails for $48. So this one is definitely one of my favorites. The next one I wanted to talk to you guys about is this Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense 30 SPF. So I really like this um, as a winter and spring sunscreen and even as a summer sunscreen, I think it, it's great if I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, it is very rich in texture and very creamy. So the texture is great, really love it. Just for the summer, I find that it's a bit too rich, but I really love this as a sunscreen. It smells like the spa, like, oh my God, every time I smell it, it smells like the spa. So if you don't like scented sunscreens, 
this is not for you but it smells like a little bit like eucalyptus lovely just lovely it feels like a little zen when i put it on anyway love this um sunscreen and uh i got this at sephora i think and it's like six sixty three dollars yeah so this was sixty three dollars at sephora but highly recommend this one i think this one is a really good one especially if you have like drier skin this one's uh quite a gem the next one i wanted to show you guys is the brush on block uh, mineral sunscreen this is 30 spf so this is a powder sunscreen i showed it earlier in the video i really like this um, especially when i'm wearing uh, makeup i like to use this to reapply my sunscreen so even if i use the chemical sunscreen before i will mix them and use this on top of my makeup to reapply my sunscreen um, I love that one. The price point is fantastic. You get two of these at Costco for $35. So two of them come in a pack for 35 bucks. So that's pretty dang good. So love that. I think the brush is super soft. I love that it distributes a good amount of product. So you're not kind of like fighting with this brush to get powder out. Um, like I said, the brush feels soft and I just love to bring it like it fits so nicely in my purse. And I love using this on top of my makeup. I won't use this if I'm not wearing makeup. I I won't be really, I find that I don't really use it that much. Um, but for makeup, I just love the look it gives my skin after I apply it, almost like I've retouched my makeup, like the powder just makes my skin look nice and refreshed. The last one I wanna to talk to you guys about is this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch um, sunscreen. This one's a 30 SPF. This is a chemical sunscreen. So I like using this if I have an event during the day that I need to go to um, and I wanna make sure that I just don't have any white film left behind from mineral sunscreen because it does tend to happen. So with this one, there's no white film. I really like this one. The feel of it is very nice and creamy and luxurious. Um, and it does dry nicely onto the skin, doesn't leave a greasy or oily feeling. And it does work really nicely with makeup. So I really like this one for the summer if I have an event to go to. Um, this one retails for 15 Canadian dollars at Walmart. And it just, it smells, it does smell like sunscreen usually does, but a bit nicer. So it, the smell is not too strong, but yeah, this one um, I really like as a chemical sunscreen. I also wanted to mention a couple of other sunscreens that I don't currently have right now, but I have tried and I really love. So one of my favorite, and this is literally one of my holy grail sunscreens, is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. That one is a clear gel. It goes on clear. It doesn't leave a white cast. I absolutely love that one. It's great for darker skin tones as well. And it just, it's also a primer and it has this like finish that that of a silicone primer that just leaves your skin super smooth and the makeup goes on beautifully so that one is definitely one of my favorite favorite sunscreens um i've also tried the la roche posay um and Thelios, I think it's pronounced, and Thelios Mineral Tinted Ultra Fluid uh, uh, Sunscreen. Um, I really like that one. It is a bit tinted and it's very liquidy, so make sure that one you shake really well. Um, but I find that that one goes on really nice, has a very nice luxurious feel, um, and it's super light on the skin. And lastly, um, another chemical one that I have tried that I liked is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Lotion Sunscreen. So that one is great um, for a chemical sunscreen. It does have a nice hydrating uh, finish and feel to it. So your skin does feel nice, moisturized and hydrated. And I actually even like that one for the summer. So I would definitely recommend that one. And it's also a good price point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any other sunscreens or if you've tried the ones I mentioned and what your thoughts were on them, or if there's any other ones that you have tried, I'd be curious to know just to try them out for myself. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make or any other products you'd like me to review, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.